Welcome to Goldfish on Games and I'm pleased to announce the third release of Mega Atoms. It's been a while but it's finally out and comes with a number of really good improvements such as a new title screen with a very nifty colour cycle animation for its background. This includes some long overdue artwork updates to some of the professors to round out the cast as you might say. But the big improvement that everyone's been waiting for is the new challenge game mode. This is what happens when you take the core mechanics of Atoms and try to apply it to a different style of game. And what I've come up with is a score attack style game. Now the idea is that you start off with a grid that's got a relatively large number of Atoms on it already and you have a target amount. That target is shown on the left hand side in the challenge squares. The idea is that you have to clear that number of atoms to be able to progress to the next level. Every time you clear an atom, you gain points. It also grants you more time, as you're up against the clock. If it runs out, that's it, game over. There is also a score multiplier, which will go up for each chain reaction you start. Now the multiplier is capped at the current level, so you can only go up to a 1 times multiplier on level 1, 2 on level 2, 3 on level 3. So this gives you an incentive to go up through those levels, but be careful, as higher levels give you less time to work with, so you've got to be much quicker in popping those atoms to try and replenish your time. But be careful of those large chain reactions, because if you completely clear the board and set it all to a single colour, you will get a time penalty. You will also get a time penalty if you end up in a situation where you have no squares that you can place the next atom on. So you've got to really be careful and look out for what's going to happen next. Let's see this in action. Links are in the description. All the source code can still be found on GitHub and is fully up to date, as this is a new game mode that I've not really had a chance to prove out yet with a lot of playing. I really could do with feedback from you and the rest of the community. You can leave me comments here in the YouTube video, you can leave them on GitHub, find me on Twitter, links will all be in the description. And as usual, if you want to know more about the game and know when the next releases are coming, either subscribe here or follow me on Twitter and you'll be the first to hear all my ramblings on the new versions of the game and when the next releases are coming. And if you're interested in more technical discussion about the game and things that we're doing, there is a Retro Game Dev Discord channel, which I will also leave a link in the description so you can check that out as well. The plans for the next release will be mostly revolving around implementing feedback I get from you lots, so please play. I will also be looking at implementing the in-game help for the new mode to get new players up and running without having to check the video or by having a look at the readme or whatever manual this game will eventually come with and any other touch-ups and fixes up here and there. There's still a few bits I want to do in the classic game mode that's been on the back burner while I've been doing this mode which I hope to get round to next. So, if you're looking forward to those, I will see you next time on Goldfish on Games.